Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Poland. Several years ago I was speaking to our Polish women. We were talking about this beautiful country, the food, the drink, the people, the things to see and do. In fact, I was giving her the old chit-chat, you know, and uh, she told me to go to hell. And I thought, oh really? So fast forward a few years and here I am in Poland and I'm going to take her advice. Angelica, I am going to go to hell and I'm taking you guys along with me as well. Hell is a seaside resort on the end of a 33 kilometer long sand spit which juts out into the Baltic Sea and apparently it is glorious. All we have to do is catch our train. I'll see you on board. This is the first of two trains. We have to change in Gdynia. That's about 10 minutes up the line. Eight minutes. That train there was down as the 0840 to hell, so I got on it. While I was on it, they changed the platform to this one here. Another train went to hell and has left without me. I had a bad feeling about this train. Right, let's see what the next train is to hell. I knew there was something wrong when I was looking at the board inside the train. It was showing all the intermediate stations and it mentioned uh, Gdansk Airport and I thought, uh, that's heading in the wrong direction, something not right there. Uh, I'm glad I found out before I actually left on that train because I wouldn't have uh, realized until maybe an hour down the line and I thought I would have ended up in some random part of Poland somewhere. So how do you turn a bad situation into a good one? Well, I do have a two hour wait for the next train to hell. I do have time for breakfast. I'm just so grateful I didn't end up on that train in some random part of Poland, I really am. I noticed this the other day when I was in Gdynia. There's an acute shortage of places where you can buy a snack, sit down with a coffee and relax. That's probably why McDonald's here at the station is so popular. There's nowhere else to go. I tried one of their, what was described as a scrambled egg and bacon McRat and it was muck disgusting and it is by far the worst meal I've had so far in Poland. Right, we've got one hour to kill and I'll make sure I don't miss the next train.
platform sign, the station indicator on board and the front of the train all say hell. I think this time we're on the right train. Finally made it. It would be a shame to go all the way to hell and not check the town out. So let's go exploring. I seem to have gone off the beaten track a little bit and I'm walking through a fishing port. Needless to say there's not many tourists here. Although I was thinking where you find a fishing port you find fish and where you find fish restaurants you find tasty fresh fish. So I might go back there later for a late fish lunch. What do you think? But first there's things I want to see down here. The plan of action was to walk to the very tip of the spit. The fact that there's a, a restaurant back there and souvenir shops makes me think that's probably it because that's where most people will be heading for. I'm just going to walk up to this sandy bit up here and then I'll do a U-turn. According to Google Maps, who are never wrong, there should be a lookout tower somewhere over in that general direction. I'm looking for some sort of structure which stands out above the tree canopy and I can't see any. Hmm. The good news is over there there's an information board. Let's go and see what it says. This path seems to head in the general direction of the lighthouse, so fingers crossed. This is a very well-made path, but I seem to be the only one using it.
finding a light aircraft in the middle of the forest is one thing, but my question is, how did they land it here? They must have landed it on the beach and then brought it in. That would make sense. Right, lighthouse is down this way. Okay, we came along here, totally missed the turn off for that battery. We're here at the crossroads. If we go straight ahead, then turn left, we'll go down here, there is the lighthouse. And then we can head back into town. And in fact, that's what the lighthouse should look like. Right, one lighthouse, here we come. Unless I'm mistaken, that's a lighthouse. And I even saw some people come out of it. So I'm feeling lucky here, guys. I've got a feeling all we're going to see is a bit of sea, some sand and some trees, but I don't know. wonder how long is a polite amount of time to spend at a lookout like that. As expected, it's mainly trees and the Baltic Sea and a little look at hell itself. I think I was there for about two minutes. At least I can say I've done it. I've done the walk along the shore, I've explored the sandy tip of the spit and I've been to the top of the lighthouse. Now I think we should head back into town and look at maybe getting some lunch. I do fancy something fishy because after all this is a port and if you can't get fresh fish here, where can you get it? Sign said that way for the centre of town. We'll soon find out. Sorry, what? Good riba. Very good, yeah. Good riba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well that was okay. First place I went to, they seemed to be rather reluctant to serve customers, so I went to another restaurant. That was whole turbot, which I'd never had before. Flat fish, lots of bones, not a lot of meat. Anyway, I have to go down to the marina here for a reason. So what did I have to do? I bought a ferry ticket back to Gdansk. I could have done the journey by train again, but we've done that journey. Let's do something different. I'll record it, I'll put it on YouTube, and I can share it with you guys. And it's going to be called The Ferry From Hell. And unless it sinks halfway along the way, we'll be fine. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming on this journey to hell, and I'll see you next time.